So Zeus, we just about she. I welcome to my third part of Let's Play Rise of Nations: Thrones and Patriots. And in this part, we're gonna get this Cold War started off the right way with a North uh, North Korean invasion of the South, backed by, of course, us, the Russians. So I'm gonna take my army from uh, Kamchatka, I believe this territory is called. I'll just call it Eastern Russia. Thinking risk. Anyway, I take them. Uh, is initiate a police action instead of uh, uh, attacking. So, start it. And just so you know, now I'm, I'm using Audacity to record my voice and just streaming from the game. So now I can't stop and start my recordings. So, a lot of it is just going to be continuing with me talking, and that's why I'm not sk cutting through the loading screen because I don't want to go out and stop Audacity, restart it, and you can yeah, you guys can just listen to me blabber on for uh, however long this is going to take, and I'm assuming it's going to start pretty pretty quickly here. I mean, there we go. So unlike uh, this, isn't your normal battle, the battle of, S of Seoul that we're going to be fighting. I'm gonna pause it just real quick, just to show you uh, what's gonna go on. Uh, I've got my. We're gonna be su supplying the North Korean army from uh, Vladivostok up here. I bring uh bring my government uh, leader. He's called the Comrade because we're socialist. And I'm gonna be, of course, supplying uh, the Korean army. I'm gonna have to start building up. Um, a few citizens. I'm gonna build a few battleships just to protect my coast, my coastline against uh, American aggression. And um, I think we're good to go. So unpause it, and as you can see, an epic battle is already unfolding along the north and south Re Korean border. The North Koreans start with a whole lot more units than the south, and if they're gonna push through uh, with relative ease. And usually they're going to capture at least one city before uh, it's all said and done. I'm going to bring in my troops to my small army to help support them. I'm also going to start with uh, start ticking up and getting a little bit more uh, resources flowing in here, so I can create a more uh, I can build up my army a little bit better. But let's talk about military means for Rise of Nations and um, military or the combat it it's very rock paper scissors esque um, especially like the infantry combat we've got you know your basic uh, your basic um, mini machine gun infantry that beat bazooka infantry you got bazooka infantry that beat tanks then you have your m mini gun or machine gun infantry that take a little bit of time to set up but they beat everything else to a pulp except for tanks of course tanks can own them. And then tanks own everything except bazooka infantry. So it's very, you know, rock, paper, scissors. It's not that simple, but it's uh, pretty regimented. You know, this unit counters this unit, and that unit counters that unit. And you can usually, if you uh, focus fire, micromanage your troops pretty well. Generally, you can uh, lead your army to victory pretty quickly. So the Red Army and the North Koreans are just put are pushing over the border. I'm blowing up whatever infrastructure they have next to the border. I'm gonna push right to Seoul, right to Seoul, and try and capture it off the bat. Uh, of course, the Americans are gonna be helping the South. They'll they'll get to it uh, eventually. I'm gonna try and uh, build some scientists and everything so I can upgrade to. The uh, next age, the information age, because uh, 
In Rise of Nations, as you gain wealth, you use it up here. There are techs, and there are four types of techs. There's military, civic, commerce, and science. And each one does a different thing. Military increases your population cap. Um, civic increases your borders and commerce increases your cap for resources because you can only collect uh, see uh, here my oil it's at plus 200 and my commerce cap is plus 200 so I'm c collecting more than 200 oil but uh, since considering my commerce cap is only 200 a lot some of that is going to waste because uh, I can't make any more so I'm gonna have to increase that but I'm just gonna wait around until I have enough knowledge to go to the information age which is, right now I'm in the modern age, so that's World War II. Information age is very modern, and I can upgrade my units and hopefully get the adva advantage over these, over these clowns pretty quickly. So, already, we just walked over the border. We just crushed them with our combined assault, and Seoul is just about to fall to us. I, even with like limited infrastructure to their er, limited damage to their infrastructure, because we uh, we fought so brutally and so efficiently that uh, they didn't really stand any kind of chance. And I don't think the South is going to be able to uh, survive and sort of combat this one. Oh sweet, they have an aircraft carrier off the shore. One thing I remember learning is that artillery, for some reason, owns ships. If you can get ships close enough to the shore, your artillery can tear them up. But holy shit, there's a huge American air fleet coming in right now. Right over, and they actually are destroying most of our units. So, I guess that puts a little bit of a grinding halt on our advance for now. I'm going to have to start building up my army a little bit start getting these guys coming in and going and almost have enough alright there we go information age is being researched and uh, once I get that done I should be able to push through with a lot more efficiency and a lot more brutality I'm also going to start upgrading my uh, surrounding sort of um, farms and shit so I can get more resources flowing in Start building up a small army. Get these guys ready to go. I still got troops uh, holding out in Seoul. Seoul will be ours pretty quickly. Oh, I got. Uh, he only works for my own. Yeah, if you have, because each when you choose a certain government, you get a certain leader. And uh, right now we're socialist government, and we get the comrade. And he makes and he assimilates cities into your empire faster. But uh, I didn't take Seoul. The North Koreans did, so they don't assimilate. Uh, it doesn't assimilate faster. But in terms of the battle for Seoul, uh, American Marines are pushing forward. I'm actually gonna pull back because uh, I'm gonna. I know we're gonna lose Seoul probably from that attack. So I'm gonna push back to where all these stockades and all these bunkers are or for the North Koreans and try and lure their forces there and you